Hello, this is your Congressman Michael Burgess. Pancreatic cancer. It's the fourth rank cause of cancer death in the United States. For all of its stages and growth combined, the five-year survival rate is only 6%. There is no early detection method for pancreatic cancer, so most people receive the diagnosis when the disease is in its later stages, resulting in almost three-fourths of the patient dying within the first year of diagnosis. In Texas alone, more than 2,000 people will die this year from pancreatic cancer. And the incidence and death rate is increasing because we don't have an early detection method or better options like we do for many other cancers. Because of this, pancreatic cancer is expected to move from fourth to the second leading cause of cancer death in the United States by 2020. And to date, research into other cancers has not been applicable to pancreatic cancer. While the statistics of this tragic disease are staggering, hope and resolution lie in a focused research effort by creating a national plan for cancer research, pancreatic cancer research, and to use our research dollars in the best way possible to make progress for patients. The House of Representatives recently passed the Recalcitrant Cancer Research Act of 2012. This important and relevant piece of legislation was introduced early last year when it was named the Pancreatic Cancer Research and Education Act. The bill requires the National Institute of Health to address the issue of pancreatic cancer vigorously by developing a strategic research plan to investigate and improve its high mortality rate. This plan is to be updated and improved every five years with the aid of congressional oversight, which will streamline the efforts to translate research into treatment. If detected early, surgery currently remains a patient's best hope for long-term survival. But we need to develop an early detection method and better treatment options to make the odds better for all patients. A national coordinated plan for pancreatic cancer will help us get there. Thank you for taking the time to listen. For more information about this issue and other issues before the United States Congress, please visit my website at burgess.house.gov. May God bless you and your family, and as always, may God bless Texas.